Hey, what's going on guys? So in this video, I'm gonna be going over one of the best ways that you should be utilizing ChatGPT. And if you're not, you're probably losing a lot of money. By the way, my name is Ashton. I'm the founder of Active Solutions. We're a CRM customization service. and We currently service roughly 200 clients. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dive right into it and show you exactly how I program my own custom GPTs because I realize not enough people utilize ChatGPT the way that they should. And a lot of times they're just, they just have one chat log and they just continuously utilize that same chat log over and over and over again because they don't want to lose all of the prompting that they had built into it. I'm going to solve that issue right now. So the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, go to ChatGPT and if you don't have an account created then you are a psychopath. But over on the left sidebar you're going to see multiple different options. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to go over to GPT. Then in the top right corner you're going to see create. Go ahead and click that. Now basically what this is doing is you're giving it an idea of what you're trying to accomplish accomplish first, just like you would when you're prompting AI in general, right? When you're utilizing ChatGPT within a chat log. But what you're doing is you're telling it what type of GPT you want it to become. And it's actually going to prompt itself just by what you tell it to do. So if you click over here in the configure section, this is where you're seeing the name of the GPT, the description, the instructions. As you can see, this is 100% blank. Now for the example in this video, what I'm going to be doing is creating an AI that's actually going to be a script writer to show you exactly what I mean. So I always use the voice function, whether you're using just a chat log or a custom GPT makes it significantly easier so you don't have to type things in. So I'll click here and I'll say something like, I need you to become a GPT that is going to write all of my ad scripts. I want you to do research online for writing good hooks, good body copy, and increasing conversion rates. Use methodologies from Alex Ormosi and Dean Graziosi. Then you click the check mark. It's going to log everything that you just said. And now as this continues to turn, it's basically prompting itself to become a customized GPT that's going to execute every problem that you give it. So now if I come back over here to configure, you'll see that its instructions have changed and updated themselves. Now the next thing it's gonna say is, how about the name of this? Or they choose a name for you first. So it says add script architect. I think that's perfect. Next, it's gonna generate a profile picture just so in the sidebar, you actually have something uh, to select from. Give it some feedback. So I love this as well. I think that's great. It says it's ready to go. Now, whenever it's ready, you come over here to the right and you can actually fully test it, okay? So what I'm gonna do first is here's a little cheat code that not a lot of people know about. A lot of people will just stop here and they say the GPT is finished and ready to go, right? So I'm gonna to come to configure and I'm gonna update the instructions. I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna give it examples because AI likes examples. So we're gonna say something like this is an ad script that has worked well in the past follow this structure and methodology as it converts high okay and then i have a script here ready to go that i'm going to copy The more examples you can provide, the better. And the cool thing is that there is no cap. So even if you were writing a, if you wanted to create a GPT that writes all your YouTube scripts and you could transcribe all of Iman Godzi's YouTube videos, for example, and copy those and you can upload them so it has actual information and data to go off of as it creates new scripts for you in the future. Now I'm gonna copy and paste this script down here. So it has everything, perfect, and it's already updated. Let me just double check here, scroll down, perfect. All right, now we're gonna give it instructions. And we're going to say something like, I need you to create me ad copy for a Facebook ad for my medical spa. My biggest offer is that I'm charging $10 per unit on Botox. And that's how I'm going to get people in the door. We are the best in the area. We have the lowest prices and the most experience when it comes to anything in relation to aesthetics. Perfect. Let me add uh, some credibility as well. We are also award winning and have worked with the Kardashians. So now I add this in here. It's going to do some research. And here it is. So. $10 Botox. Yes, you heard that right. Just $10 per unit. Why choose between affordability and expertise when you can have both at blank med spa name? We're not just the most experienced in the area. We're also award winning and trusted by celebrities, including the Kardashians. Lowest prices in town. Our seasoned professionals ensure safe, natural. You get the point. So what this does now is it is trained to only deliver the results that we want on that specific topic every time that we want ad copy. Now you can continue to update this if there's anything that you see 
see that you don't like that you want to manipulate, you can continue to update the prompt or just tell the GPT and it will update itself. The cool thing about this is you can use it for many different scenarios. It doesn't just have to be scripts. It can be for document editing. If you're reviewing legal agreements, if you're writing email copy, if you're reviewing sales numbers or just asking for business advice, you can upload previous data about your business or things you've done in the past and you can create custom GPTs for almost anything. I have so many custom GPTs. It's not even funny. It's kind of scary. I don't even think for myself anymore, but hopefully this was useful. I've just seen way too many people that aren't utilizing this platform the way that they should be. And the main reason I make these videos is because anybody that watches them in as short a time as possible, I want to give you the tools to be able to make more money than you were making before. If you look in the description below, you'll see a couple of things. So number one is a link to our school community. It's 100% free. We have group calls on a weekly basis and we don't ask for anything in return. Next, if you feel like you don't have the systems or the automation or, or a CRM, whatever it might be, and you just don't have the time to set it up yourself, there's a book a call link in the description as well. You can speak with our team and see if you're a good fit. But thank you for watching the video. We'll catch you in the next one.